Ladies and gents, let's take a look at the old Resto Shaman, shall we? Very difficult to pull off good healing footage, I think, especially in the five mans. I did want to raid test on the Resto Shaman, but I haven't had the opportunity, which is a little bit sad. I had to avoid raid testing this week, but that's all right. What's going on with it? It's different. It's different than what you're going to be used to on live. It's going to take you a little bit of adjustment to work this bad boy out. I felt it very quickly, and I only play Resto very, very rarely. So, someone who plays it full time, you're going to be like, oh, this is a little bit creepy. I don't like it. I want it to change. I want my old testicles back. These ones are all hairy. It sucks. So, what's changed there? Well, like Chain Heal has been effectively gimped into the ground, but so has many AoE heals in general across all the healers. It's a common theme in WAD is that you're like passive, you're, you're like your silly AoE heals that you don't really think about. They've kind of been really, really hammered into the ground. Chain heal more so than the others. Now, there's some speculation this is because of your Glyph of Riptide and its combination with your level 100 talent, High Tide. So if I read that to you, it's your chain heal also bounces up to three additional targets affected by your Riptide. And no longer diminishes in power with each bounce. Right? So what we're used to is our chain heal. Fires out, does a lot of healing. Less on the next target, less on the next target, and so on and so forth. Now what you can actually do if you mix in your Glyph of Riptide and stuff is you can throw out some Riptides and then spam chain heal. And that's going to put out a lot of extra fucking bounces that don't diminish. So a lot of people suspect that chain heal has in fact been nerfed to compensate for the fact that people might take high tide. If chain heal was as powerful as it is in Miss of Pandaria, you could have some serious problems with shamans just absolutely spamming the shit out of chain heal. And where are we then? We're back in TBC. We're back in the Sunwell where cha shamans don't do anything else but press chain heal and of course rip tide and do absolutely ridiculous amounts of healing. In fact, a lot of the issues that rest shamans are having despite the fact that they are coping extremely well in raid testing i want to put that out there shamans are doing very very well in comparison to the healers nothing to be complaining about doesn't seem as of right now there's obviously changes going to be occurring this is beta after all that shamans will start out super weak like we're used to yeah we're used to shamans starting out really really fucking weak and then getting stronger and stronger over the expansion it seems like they're gonna start out pretty well the problems are the talent system. A lot of people have big issues with the talent system. I do too. Um, I felt it pretty quickly as I was like, that doesn't make any sense. It's always difficult if your class has three individual roles. If you have three individual roles and they're trying to make all the talents kind of work together, you're going to have problems because sometimes talents just come out shit for one of the roles, right? Although we've moved to more of an idea that certain talents are different depending on your specialization, that doesn't really seem to be happening too much for the shaman and they're suffering a little bit. So what am I talking about? Firstly, Chain Heal, Glyph of Riptide, and High Tide, right? Those things working together seem to have made Chain Heal effectively shit for other people. If we look at some other stuff, things like Echo of the Elements. Echo of the Elements. Your spells and ability have a chance to cause your next Riptide, Unleash Life, or Purify Spirit, not to incur its cooldown. That's pretty shit when you think about it. It's pretty shit. Originally, this idea was to have extra um, healing rains down. But unfortunately, Blizzard has... And rightfully so, in my opinion. Some people are pissed about this. Some people were looking forward to the idea of having two healing rains down at the same time. That would be absurdly powerful. That would be crazy. Think about it. That would be totally nuts if you could have two healing rains down at the same time. And the only way they could balance that was to make your healing rain shit. Probably by about, oh, I don't know, 50%. And therefore, you'd have to have two down to even get the same benefit of having one. So I'm pretty glad they didn't do that. But Echo the Elements in general, your next Riptide has no cooldown. I can do that. If I want that, I can glyph that. And I don't need to use up a talent spot for it. Unleash Life is cool, but it's not exactly on a long-ass cooldown. It's 15 seconds, right? So... Do I really need that? No, it's single target only. Your unleash, uh, your unleash life is buffing single target. It's like, uh, well, direct heal. Uh, that's not great. Purify spirit? Really? <laughs> not so good. It's cooldown. I don't know. Maybe for the old PVPers. Who knows? So you're kind of stuck, really, with ancestral swiftness, I believe, from what I'm playing and what I'm trying out. Elemental mastery is nice to get the 30% haste, but ancestral swiftness is there as the lifesaver, and occasionally wall to drain or. You gotta save people. It also gives you 5% haste passively. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. So people feel stuck with that. If we move down to level 75, if you're in Miss of Pandaria right now, your healing stream totem is totally badass and does shitloads of healing. It doesn't in Wall of the Drain or Again, this idea of nerfing things that you have no control over. Blizzard doesn't want you to be doing things like Chain Heal where the heal itself seeks out people to heal. 
They don't like that anymore. They're like, no, you shouldn't be playing like that. You should be thinking about what you're doing. So previously we had, uh, if you, I think if you go to something like Kill Jaden World First by SK, I believe, you'll see there Resto Shane was just spamming Chain Heal on himself and letting the heal do all the work for him. That's the kind of thing they're getting away from. So Healing Stream Totem has had the same treatment. It does way less healing. It's worth casting. It's worth a global cooldown, but it's not anything like you'll see in Mr. Pandaria. And what you'll see now is like rushing streams isn't that important anymore because healing stream just doesn't do that much. But conductivity is pretty fucking awesome, in my opinion. Pretty fucking awesome where your healing wave, healing surge, and chain heal increase the duration of your healing rain up to a maximum increase of 30 seconds. Now, that doesn't mean you can cast another one. It'll still be replaced. What it does mean is you cast way less healing rains. It's an enormous mana buff. Yeah? It's so much mana saved and extra casts go on in the meantime where you're doing this. If you're going for a, a nice spammy healing wave, chain heal style play, then your healing range just stays down for fucking ever, man. It just sticks around for so long that you can actually just plonk it down and go on about your business and your conductivity is just going to be passively regenerating it so you don't have to worry about it anymore. I really like it. But the other two just seem really fucking weak, which is a little bit of a bummer, right? It's a little bit weaker in comparison to just a really extended healing range. So again, the shamans are like, well, you know, we kind of feel pigeonholed. Kind of feel pigeonholed because this doesn't make sense. Level 90 is kind of the same again. <laughs> uh, for what I'm doing... For what I'm doing, I'm actually rolling Unleashed Fury because I'm doing some Firemans for you guys. But it does seem like Elemental Blast is now absurdly powerful to the point where you'd be stupid not to take it. It now buffs every time you use your Elemental Blast. It increases your spirit by a thousand for eight seconds. A thousand extra spirit. Do you know how much spirit I have on a Restoration Shaman at level 100 in 660 gear? 1,241. It doubles my spirit. It effectively doubles my fucking spirit in this gear. That is insane. That is absolutely insane how much extra spirit is. And people are reporting that they're healing for like three or four extra minutes spamming because of Elemental Blast. But it's difficult, right? It's difficult. You can't just... I, I hate this. I hate the fact that it doesn't heal people. Why can't I shoot somebody with my Elemental Blast? Why can't I throw my Elemental Blast into them? It does some healing and it gives me a buff to crit haste mastery on multi-strike. That would be fine. This spirit feels lazy. Reels really fucking lazy to the point where you either make this spirit super powerful, in which case you have to take it, or the spirit's too weak and nobody can be asked with it. It doesn't make any sense. It's also going back to a model that they said was gone. Active mana regeneration was supposed to be out of the game. They were like, no, we don't like that. So why have you added a DPS spell, which is actively re regenerating mana? What are you doing? This feels crazy. It feels like you couldn't think of something to do. It's easy. Allow us to cast it at people. That would be awesome. I'd love to elemental blast my friends in the face. I would love to give them the big blast on the face. All over the lips. They'd love it. <sighs> blaze, 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 blaze. A little bit annoying there. I would just it would be so much better if it was just a healing spell. That would be cool. Shooting people. I'd like that. That would make sense. Pretty good. Primal Elementalist does what it does on the tin. Same as Mop. Whatever. Uh, on to uh, the level 100 talents again, where these issues come from. High Tide, we've already talked about. It's powerful if you're going for that style of play. It seems you can either go one of two ways right now, which is either spamming Riptide and Chain Heal using High Tide, or going more single target, which is kind of the way I prefer it in five mans, obviously, because I'm not healing groups and groups of people. But if you're not doing that, what are your other choices? Cloud Burst Totem is, I think, shit. Some people are reporting it's doing okay in raids. But overall, it's pretty crappy in my opinion. It's a 30 second cooldown, right? This is a cloud burst totem. It, it absorbs your healing and multi-strikes. And then when it's about to expire, it kind of peters out in a nice orgasmic style for 20% of all the healing that was done while it was down. And then it just uh, goes on cooldown again. Now the problem is, it doesn't work with things like uh, non-direct heals. It doesn't work with totems and stuff. It doesn't work with a lot of the extra healing that shamans put out. It just doesn't have any effects. It doesn't absorb that whatsoever. So you get this really pitiful amount of healing. And then we have Storm Elemental Totem. What is this thing? It's shit. Totems, uh, the DPS totems still have this ridiculous problem. Ridiculous problem for healers, in my opinion. That they won't attack things that don't have flame shock on. If you summon it and you put your flame shock on the target or DPS the target, sure, your totem will go off. But when that flame shock expires and you don't attack again regularly enough, it just comes back. In several five mans where my tank has either suicided off a fucking bridge or done something crazy and I pop my earth elemental, I'm like, oh yeah, I need to start flame shocking everything. Otherwise, my earth elemental ignores the things that are smacking me in the face. 
And Storm Elemental is kind of the same way. And not only that, its healing is crap. Its DPS is crap. It's just crap. A big, dirty pile of crap. So what does that leave us with? Well, your level 100 talents realistically are either high tide if you're going for that style of play. Or you're going for Cloudburst Tone because you don't really have another choice. I can kind of see why... It's not hard to see why the shamans are like, yeah, we're doing fine. Our numbers seem okay, Blizz. Yeah, I get it. We're, comp we're competitive. We're doing well. We're happy about that. We're not being gra gra grabbed into the ground. But our talents just don't make much sense. They seem really counterintuitive. And frankly, some of them are so DPS oriented that it's actually getting a little bit frustrating. It was kind of cool back in the day that Resto Shamans were DPSs. If we look at stuff like 4.5 during the old Kata days, I was very happy that a deep, uh, every now and again I could throw out the odd Lightning Bolt. I could regen some mana. That was cool. Now it's moving to you got to throw your tomes out. you got to do this and you got to do that. And if you don't do that, some of your spells just don't flat out work. They don't flat out work. And it's as simple as that. They're just going to fuck you off and disappear. Oh yeah, yeah. I will give big shout outs to Windwalk Totem though. I've found great uses for this. There's a lot of bosses in Wallace of Draenor so far that, that slow. That put down slows and stuff like that. And Windwalk Totem has been absolutely awesome for getting people out of that. Because a lot of them are dangerous. Things like brambles. A lot of mobs uh, are spawning things underneath people that not only hurt you, but slow you down. Windwalk Totem with a one minute cooldown has been fucking mwah, magnifique. Absolutely magnifique for that. Other than that, guys, how's it playing? I'm sure that's why he came here, is how's it playing? It's playing fine, you know? I enjoy it. Look at how many spells I have! Come on! Look at all the spells! I have more spells on a hidden bar on the right that I also have key bindings for. This has not been hammered like anything else. Look how many totems I have, right? There's like fucking 12 or 13 totems there. I feel like a shaman! I don't want to be too negative. Yeah, talents. Other, other classes have got worse talent problems than you have, Shaman. I'm just pointing it out there. Other classes have got way worse problems than you have. But look at it. Isn't it glorious? Look at all the stuff I can do. I can do so much stuff. I don't need to do it all the time. But when I do need to do it, I have so much stuff. Look at all this shit. You need Tremor Totem? Boom. I've got it. Capacitor Totem? I've got it. Wind Walking. Fucking Grounding Totem works on bosses now. <laughs> so fucking good. I'm projecting my totems. I'm hexing and CCing. I'm DPSing. I'm interrupting. I'm doing God's work. I'm doing God's work. That's why I can walk on water. Boom. Resto Shaman, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you again later. Bye.